everyone. Good morning. Can you hear me okay? Yes? Yep, okay. <laughs> so welcome everyone to St. Andrews. Welcome home everyone. Welcome home everyone at home. And uh, it is good for us all to be here together today. And today is our annual congregational meeting. So it's a really important day and a real special day in the life of the church and the church family that you are. I have a couple of announcements for you before we begin our time. And the first is, uh, well, first of all, a reminder that our, our worship and our work are one. And our annual congregation is a meeting as a response to our work as a church. So we will be having our service here in the sanctuary till roughly, say, quarter to 11, the normal process. We're splitting a hymn, so we'll sing three verses here. Then we're going to walk to the upper hall where there'll be coffee and treats. We're going to sit down with them. There'll be handouts. We'll sing the last verse and go into our congregational meeting. And then we'll have our prayers there, our last hymn, and off we go. So we'll just bring it all together. And uh, that's how it'll work today. Um, in your order of service, there are a couple of things you need to see. And the first one is a reminder about the sleeping um, children bed kits that goes through to, to Easter. So please take a look. There is a donor order form right in your order of service. So please take a look at that and let's let's beat last year. Okay, let's let's go for it. And also March 11th. This is really important. March 11th, thanks to the efforts of our program team, uh, Beth Langhorst and Deb Woods. The UCW is having a guest speaker, and your guest speaker is Karen Ray, who's your counselor for Ward 4. And that's March 11th at the meeting at 1.30 uh, p.m. And it's not just for the ladies of the church. It's for anyone who would like to come. So all are welcome, just like in the sanctuary and in our church. All are welcome and all the time. So please keep that in mind. Put it on your calendar. It's a great opportunity to have that one-on-one -on -one with your local counselor and to hear what they have to share about what their experiences are, and for you to share with them what your experience and questions are. So, important day. Also, on morning, Thursday, April 18th, can you hear me okay? and card party, which I know is yes. a big event in this church, so yep. mark okay. that yeah. as well, so you don't so miss So, welcome everyone to St. Andrew's Welcome home. home. My name would let home. us play cards. Everyone at home. And we did. And, uh, and it is good for us all to be Sunday here afternoon. together today. Right. And, and today back. is our annual congregational meeting, so it's a really important day and a real special day in the life of the church and the church family. That you are. Report with you for when I we go have a to couple the, of announcements um, for you the before, before we begin our time. Available on the table. And the first is, uh, well, first of all, a reminder that our agenda for you and our work and are one. And our annual congregation is and a meeting as a response to our, our work as a church. 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 So we will be we having our service here in the sanctuary until roughly, say, quarter to 11, the normal process. We're splitting a hymn. Um, I'm so going to say thank you to our tech here. team. Then we're going to walk to the there, upper hall where there will be coffee and treats. We're going to sit down with them. This church. There'll be handouts. Going and we'll sing and the we'll last verse. And we'll go into our congregational meeting. And then because we'll have our technology there. Our last hymn, doesn't it? So we have a hymn for our team. bring it all together. And that's how it'll work today. Um, and thanks, Yvonne, for setting up service for the hall. There are a couple of things you need to see. And the see. last thing, and the first yeah. one is a reminder about, about the sleeping you know, like um, children's bed kits that go night, and you have these funny dreams. So please, and please and take a look. There is a came in here this order morning form, and Jenny right noticed a funny, service, and that is that your intro is wrong. Take a look at that, and let's speak last year. I believe it was right on the power point. But don't and start singing. Also, March uh, 11th, the family. This is really important. Because our March 11th, Lord, thanks to the efforts of our singing the same one through Beth Langhorst and Deb Woods. So, 
The so use of that is having figure. the best figure. He's just a and creative the figure is Karen Ray, who's your counselor for Ward 4. And so that's that March 11th at the meeting so at 1.30 uh, p.m. And it's not just for the ladies that you search. got around for anyone who would like to be on So us, all of us are welcome, just like you in the us, too. and on our church. All are welcome Let's open our hearts time. to each other. So please place. keep that in mind. Put it on your calendar. It's a great opportunity to have that one-on-one -on -one with your local counselor and to hear what they have to share of what their experiences are and for you to share with them what your experience and questions are. And then so, surely to come and offer us our Also, our on Thursday, this morning. April 18th, it will be the luncheon and card party, which I know is a big event in this church. So mark that down as well so that you don't Good miss playing, playing cards. Our acknowledgement the of the need for justice. justice. We acknowledge the justice we acknowledge the justice not play cards on those who come from right? many from ethnicities, faiths, and societies. societies. I don't know. Hate has no place in Jesus' teaching. Nor and should it um, if you don't have your annual report we with you, to when we go to the, um, to the upper hall, and there will be a few copies available on the in, table. In so doing, we and will be will also be the agenda for you, the acceptance and, and love for the for Jesus had for everyone. And also everyone. the financials provided by Brenda, our treasurer. As we prepare oh, each, we each Sunday for worship, we light the Christ candle. It's a symbol of Christ's presence. We love the presence with us and all that was, all that is. And all that will ever be. I want to say again, thanks and to the to me distinguished candles. So surely we'll be lighting us, our Christ candle. Amazing candle. And then she will extinguish our third and third candle as a symbol of us letting go of things when they break. arrogance and because rudeness, technology breaks. So that our hearts might be opened and filled so, um, with modesty and respect and, respect and love. They do a great we all remember love. And thanks, Yvonne, for setting up for the hall. And the last thing, things sort of started out funny, you know, like these little funny things that you wake up in the night and you have these funny dreams and, or anyhow, came here this morning and Jeannie noticed you're funny, and that is the electrodes sing wrong. Our in your order to God, Lord, prepare I believe me. it was right on the power of prayer of beginning so don't start start singing. Uh, you are a part of the family because our intro it is, Lord, prepare me. We're singing the same one through all of Lent. So just ignore that in your order of service. It was just a creative oops. I'll just leave it there. So, we're ready. so let us quiet our thoughts. Let's open our hearts to God around us, beyond us, among us, with him within us too. Let's open our hearts to each other in this place and beyond us who join with us. All our hearts as one. Well. We well, invite Shirley to come and offer us our, our acknowledgement this morning. of the need for justice. We acknowledge injustices inflicted on those who come from many ethnicities, faiths, and societies. Hate has no place in Jesus' teaching, nor should it live within us. We strive to open our hearts and minds and embrace differences. In, in so doing, we will be examples of the acceptance and love Jesus had for everyone. As we this prepare is each church Sunday for worship, we light the Christ candle. This is the symbol of Christ's presence. This is our sanctuary. This is all that was, all that is, and, and all that will ever be. Where we come together to enjoy Lent, we distinguish candles. So to know, surely we'll be lighting our Christ candle. So and come to St. Andrew's here and Lenten candle too. as a symbol Let of us coming together may the spirit of the living God in, in Christ so that our hearts open might be opened and filled with modesty open our hearts and, and, our hearts and love with the rhythm may we all the remember of God love never ends. Let us sing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's remain seated as we sing our hearts to God. Lord, prepare me, and may it be your prayer of beginning this morning. It's not irritable or resentful. 
Your love does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Your love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Your love never ends. May we so live your love, working for each other, that these words become our faith, visible, tangible, felt. May we be this love, your love, in this world. Please be seen. Amen. Let, Let us be sure God's love is patient and kind, as is our God may have gathered to be with one another. To God's hear love is ours to share, to and the peace of Christ is ours are, to offer, and the compassion of the Holy Spirit. Where we're going, that's ours to be in the Christ. In our words sung and spoken and prayed and offered this day, in our reports to one another, in our hopes and our dreams, may we know your presence, may we hear your still small voice. And with assurance, may we follow the most faithful path of love. Amen. So nearly 2,000 years ago, there was this church in Corinth. And here we are in the first century. This church has been created. And it has conflict in it, differences of opinions, people just not seeing eye to eye. So what do they do? They write to the Apostle Paul and they go, look at all our problems. What do we do? Apostle Paul wrote back to them. He wrote back what we call the letter First Corinthians, as in the first one that we've still got, and he wrote back. And he said in that letter, he pointed out to them the challenges that they were facing and why, and he offered them the words of how they should love one another and to reconcile their differences, to renew their faith and love of each other, and know the peace of Christ together and then how to follow Christ's path and mission. And so he said these words of love. Let us continue to pray. Loving God, you are love itself. And we are called to love one another with and within your love. As the Apostle Paul spoke of your love, he reminded the church in Corinth, God, that your love is patient and your love is kind. Your love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. God, your love does not insist on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. Your love does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Your love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Your love never ends. And we so live your love with and for each other, that these words become our faith visible, tangible, felt. May we be this love, your love, in this world. Amen. Let us be assured God's love is patient and kind, as is ours, when we focus on it. And God's love is ours to share, and the peace of Christ is ours to offer, and the compassion of the Holy Spirit, that's ours to give. Invite the kids to come on forward for a couple of minutes. We'll have a bit of time for all the ages. Oh, is that a beautiful? Can that go in the basket too? Can you put that in? Purple? That's lovely. Thank you. So, I'm just going to, well, first of all, God is good. All the time? All the time? All right. So, we want families. Do you have rules you have to follow? What's a rule you have to follow? Mm -hmm. Cleaning up, that's always a good one. I used to like that one. What else is a rule? Pardon me? Kind to one another, dusting. Would you like to come to my house? In my house, we had family meetings, and anybody could call a family meeting. Do you have family meetings, sir, at the table where y'all talk about something that's happening? Did not yet? Okay. You don't know? Okay. Why don't you call me? Do you have something to talk So, I have, first of all, I need here. Where is it? There it is. You have a purple shoe. Cool, huh? With funny colors. I got it in the basket, too. Because you're right there. It's a lovely shoe. Oh, no, it was real. I want to 
tiny cat. One of your cats would put that problem to do only one, maybe two. I mean, if you were a magical witch, you could go and make them the right size for the people. Right? So I'm going to tell you that long before I became minister, I worked with the government of Ontario. Yeah, I worked with like deputy ministers and executive directors and oh, people like that. And we had rules that you were doing. And our rules were in, they were kept in with binders, so giving that technology, right? Big binders like this, this thing. There was volume one, volume two. Volume one was all about administrative and financial stuff. And volume two was how you treated people. Like I've stopped. You know what we call those volumes? That big one, that big one. Big, 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 heavy binders we have here. We call them the purple monsters. Because they were monstrous. And they had all these rules in them, like basically. But the rules kept us kind to one another. And then like the kids to clean the way we should be doing it. It's like when a family we'll has it together and, and has some music. Oh, right. So, so or you have rules to help y'all live together, together and be kind to one another. Well, as a church, we have, have thank you. this. Now, this is so, probably the last time. Well, first of all, God printed. is good. And this is all the time. The name you are right so, of the United Church of Canada. Family, Some people still call it a monster. You have, have to follow the government. government. What's so the man who tells us inside how to be church to each other? That's always and how to be fair and kind and all sorts of processes and, and, and policies and bylaws. It's just how to meet. It's rules about how we are kind to one another, fair and just. And if we have any questions, we go to the manual and see if the manual has the answer. We have, and if the manual doesn't, we go to a family meeting. People that know all the answers. And I have a couple of young guru people that I know. But it's really a book. Okay. And what it tells us in here know. is that once okay. a year, you call we need to have a family meeting. Jeff, have something to talk we need to sit down and look okay. at where have you been? So, where are you now? I have where first are you of going? all in here. And how's where it working? Oh, and guess is. what today is? have a purple shoe. Family meeting. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Funny flowers. So, we, we will be having, having our family two. meeting. Right there. And and you're going to go with the shelf. And you're going to meet us there. I want and to so, we are going to finish our scripture in that here in our offering. Then we're going to go with the family meeting. And if you were a magical witch, you could go and we're going to have our annual congregational meeting. So, I'm going to tell you that we're going to have a final floor in the stairs. I work with the government of Nigeria. Now there is yeah. one more. I event. worked with. If like, you had deputy ministers and executive directors, and if you're making decisions, is that fair? And we had right. rules. So that's what you wouldn't believe. In, and our rules were in. You have to kind of wait for them, right? The boring you just have to decide who has right? the right to say things or make like decisions. This, this sometimes thing. it's your parents, right? Volume you get one rule. Volume that two. happened. Volume yeah. one was all about administrating and financial stuff. But anyway, volume two was how you treated people. I, I do like have staff this. That. I have one you know, boy who's 37 and married, and I have another boy who's going to be 34. How's that happening? One day you're going to be 30. We call them the purple monsters. monsters. Want to be fun? Because they were monstrous. That's and right. I had 106 and I had 130. You're the all invited and we're going to come to one our feet and off. And we're doing things the way we should be doing. It's sort of like when we're a family gets together, together and, and, and it has some meaning. All over the right. or, or you have rules to help y'all live My together favorite. and be kind to one another. What well, this, as a church, the manual does we say have is that those this. who are the members of the church, now this is probably the last line in the script to make the church and this the congregation is called family meeting the manual. And so they give the United Church of Canada. Do you have any people in your church? Call it a monster. This is how many make it legal. So we have to have a minimum of 20, 20 of the members of the church to make it How do you church to each other? And, how and do all others are welcome. And, and then the people who are here, who are members, policy get to give the rights to everybody it's to be treated equally so everyone has so a fair vote. And, and, just. and if we have so any questions, we we'll go to the manual to talk about and see if the manual has the answer. And if the manual doesn't, then we go to what we call the guru people, people that know all the answers. And so, I have a couple of really good people note, Let's that just I put know. our hands together. But it's really and say, important, Jesus. And what it tells us in here is that once a year, help me to need to have a family meeting. Help me and to need to sit down and look at where have you been? And here where it says, where is Jesus taught and how to work disciples? And guess what today is? 
our uh, family meeting day. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we will be having our family meeting in the upper hall. You're going to go in the chamber and you're going to meet us there. And so we are going to finish our scripture in that here in our trespasses. Then we're going to go to our family meeting. So we're going to have coffee and tea while we talk. And we're going to have our annual congregational meeting. And then we'll have our final hymn out there and our prayers out there. Wherever and right. Um, now there is one more thing. There you if go. You had so we were meeting in your house and someone you, wasn't there. Yeah. The hall, you were making not decisions. Too long, okay? Is that there? Right. So guess what? In, you'd have to kind of wait for them, right? Or you would have to decide who has the right to say so things or make decisions. Today. Sometimes it's your parents. Reading is from right? John's Gospel. It's chapter 2, verses 13 happen? to 22. Yeah. I'd like so that just part of being a parent before we get into but it. But anyway, it's the story the world, of the cleansing of the temple. I it occurs in this last year, the end of Jesus' ministry. Who's going to be 34 no, year. sorry. In Matthew, wow. Mark, and Luke, How it happens at the end of Jesus' ministry. In this gospel, it happens at the beginning of Jesus' ministry. We have to keep that straight. We have to remember that the gospels were written decades after Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. You come? And so we can We're remember pizza, also that the writers give order to his, to his words and actions My favorite. as fit their telling of the what story and what is important to them in their telling place in the world. Is that those who are the members of the church, church is gospel, have to the writer have the right John, John right presents the Jesus as the one who comes to perfect the worship of God. And so they give what it is to God and to bring all these followers into pure worship. This make it legal. So, so you have, have a minimum of 20, temple happening in 20 the beginning of the members of John's trust to make it sense. Because it all sets the framework for all the rest of the gospel. And then the people who are here, who are members, the they get to give the right ones. But they get to be drawn in worship so everyone worship has a fair vote. Everything else follows so that's in that day to day. And we've got stuff to talk about. So as we hear in this gospel and as we contemplate the words afterwards, we can think about what do we need to really celebrate that really is good worship in that place. Let's just put our hands together and say, Jesus would worship with us and celebrate with us. To be honest, what would you say also about our practices or maybe what we are conflicted on, um, or and what here is he actually coming to turn as Jesus over, taught whether those things to, to pray. So, in fact, we need to come and offer us the scripture. Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But when it was almost time for the, for the Jewish Jesus Passover, the power Jesus the went up to Jerusalem. Forever and ever. In the um, temple courts, he found people go. selling so cattle, sheep, and doves, and others not sitting at long, tables okay? exchanging money. So he made a whip out of cords and drove yeah. all from the temple courts, both sheep and cattle. He so scattered the coins of the money changers and, that reading and overturned John's their tables. Chapter 2, verses 13 to 22. To those who sold doves, so he said, get these out of here. Let's stop turning my father's house temple. into a market. It occurs in this gospel. His disciples remember Jesus that it is written, zeal for no, your sorry. house will in consume Matthew, Mark, me. And Luke, it happens at the end of Jesus' ministry. The Jews then in responded to him. What sign can you ministry? show us to prove your authority to, to, keep that your authority to do to all this? The Gospels were written. Jesus Jesus answered them, after Jesus destroy this temple, resurrection. and I will raise and it so again in three also days. That the writers give order to they him replied, to it's taken 46 years to build this temple, telling and you're going to raise it in three days? But the temple he had spoken of was his body. Presents Jesus as the After one he who was comes raised from the dead, the his disciples recalled what he had said. The of God and then they believed the scripture and the words worship. that Jesus had spoken. So this episode in the temple has the, the word of, the Lord. of John's gospel makes sense as it sets the framework for all the rest of the gospel. Cleanse the temple, 
And so God's blessing be added to, to pure worship to all our words today, today words in this in place. Vein. The words up there too. So as we hear this gospel and as we contemplate the words afterwards, many we of us think about lots of books. What do we need to really right? celebrate? There really is good worship Lots in and our lots place. of books bring us lots and, and lots Jesus of entertainment and knowledge too. When we read a lot. What would you say also though about that? And faculty? later, so often a book is made into a movie. On, or and then you want to go see the movie. What would he actually come and do the movie? And you're planning to really enjoy it, and you imagine what's going to happen because so, you already had your imagination working really picture. well when you read the book. And then you get to the movie, and it's either it does work well, or you go, hey, wait a minute, that's not quite what I thought, not what I envisioned. For example, I absolutely, absolutely love the book The Stand by Stephen King. It's about good and evil. It's about God and evil. It's about the prophet it was of God calling people together and, and giving God's message to Jesus them. went up to Jerusalem. And then there was the TV series. In the temple courts, he found was people close. selling it cattle, was close. sheep, and doves. He did change some and of the story. sitting at tables exchanging fit, money. But my imagination had so he made a whip out of cords. And some didn't fit with what I had envisioned. All from the temple it courts, my both sheep and, and cattle. Of God. So it made me have he to scattered the coins of the money changers. And sure enjoyed it better their than tables. the second rendition of the stand. To those who but sold doves, he said, set these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a margin. Well, what His disciples remember that it is written, or to speak to zeal for your house in will consume me. Place of the world or our world. The Jews then responded to him, with our scriptures what sign too? can you show scriptures us to prove your authority to do all this? So we get Jesus answered the them, of the time, destroy this temple, the and I will raise it again in God. three days. So as I mentioned, they replied, it's taken 46 Jesus years to build this temple, the temple, and you're going to raise it in Jesus three ministry, days? Right before his arrest. But the temple he had spoken of was his body. Sense there, right? After he, he was raised from the dead, the his disciples recalled what so he had were said. Watching the movie, then they uh, believed the, story the scripture life, and the words John, that Jesus but had you spoken. Only knew the story from Matthew, this Mark, is and the Luke. He would probably Lord. sit there going, wait a minute, what's going on here? Why is the story at the beginning? We have to remember that the stories about Jesus and God's blessing circulated to for about 30 to years before the today, first gospel was in even place. And, and that was like in Mark's Gospel around 68, 70 AD, the time of the big Jewish Many women of us war. So we read through those lots of books. Eyes, that lens. Right. And, and Matthew and Luke came later, and, and most likely John's writing was entertaining. Was the final version of John too, was towards the end of the first century. A lot and later, often years. a book is made into a movie. The chronology of you want to go see the, the gospel right? serves the purpose. And you get the movie, and you're planning to really enjoy it, and you imagine what's going to happen. You already had your imagination working really well when you read the location of the cleansing of the temple in John's gospel. Was to it give does a particular or emphasis to the understanding of Jesus' ministry. That's not quite what I thought, not what I envisioned. And it reflects when For John example, was written. I absolutely, his participants absolutely love the his audience by Stephen King. And also it's about their John's and evil. eyes. It's about God John and evil. John presents Jesus about the prophet of God calling as people one together and, and the giving God's God. message to them. And who brings his followers and into then pure there was the worship, series. a pure relationship with God. It was close. A spiritual was. worship was close. and a spiritual it relationship and understanding. Some of the story and John's some of it just didn't fit with what, what my imagination had created. It is beautiful. And some of it didn't fit with what I had John envisioned. John places the episode of Jesus cleansing the temple at the outside of Jesus. So it means have to do a lot of thinking. I still enjoy so it. to tell sure you what's to come. It it's like a follow-up. What's to come? The what, what's the purpose? So this happens unfolding. with a lot of books. And thereby the highlighting Jesus' efforts to raise the, the level of first century or Jewish agenda. worship. And what the message the director wants to give in you place between to the whatever is happening in, in that which time is often place discussed in the scriptures as the world. first real sign of Jesus' messiahship, at least according to John. But that is written in terms of this wedding ceremony. Jesus changes the lottery of the time woven of into the scriptures and people's understandings of God. Of the line of so as I mentioned, Matthew, Mark, and Luke have Jesus' act of cleansing the temple occurring in the end of Jesus' the temple incident, right Jesus before his arrest and his That's crucifixion to eventually. And he there, tells right? him that following God is to be born again. again. Nicodemus says that's impossible. So if you were Jesus watching the movie of the story of Jesus' life told through 
John, but you only knew the story from Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Jesus tells us here is that God is spirit. Why is the story of the God is in spirit, not a specific have location, have remember the not the building about Jesus. And that is circulated for the message of years before John and what John was given to us. And, and that was like in Mark's gospel around 68, 70 AD, the time of the big Jewish and Roman war stories, all four gospels are that, that, that practice of selling then Matthew animals and Luke came later, and most likely John's writing was the setting of the final version of John was towards the end of the first century. A lot had happened in these early 70 years. Appalling practices. The chronology of events of the turning God's house to a theological purpose among timing of the writer. It amounts to conducting profane or earthly business. The location of the cleansing of the temple space. in John's Gospel and for Jesus to give a particular emphasis to the understanding and of Jesus' ministry. It's exploitation of the reflects when John was written. We might remember that the trading of current audience was taking place and in what's called the court of the Gentiles eyes. of the temple. John the temple Jesus, grounds throughout his Gospel therefore making it impossible the worship for Gentiles to come to the temple to pray and to learn worship. And you might say, well, why would they want to do that? Well, the messianic spiritual relationship and understanding what would happen John's when the Messiah came or the messianic age um, and that would be that all nations would flow to the temple John to places the, the one God. of Jesus cleansing so the temple if all this is happening in the court of, of Jesus Gentiles ministry. like a marketplace it's stopping sort of to blocking tell you what's to come flow it's like a God. God. what's right. to come what, what's so the Jesus saw that in God's house the place where by highlighting Jesus' efforts to raise the level of first century Jewish worship it falls. Profanity as in in place is taking place. The wedding, and he says they've made the temple often discussed in the scriptures as the first real sign of Jesus' other Messiahship, at least according to John. turned God's house into a den in terms of this wedding ceremony. Jesus changes the place where they hang out jars of purification. They're robbing and stealing and corruption and abuse. They come back to a place. That's a pretty heavy accusation, right? And how you're to be here together. So what Jesus does in after the, the temple incident, Jesus addresses the demons, the cattle and the sheep and the doves, eventually. We might and he tells him that the calling God is to be that's born again. again. And Nicodemus says that's but impossible. But he does this overturning all the no, tables no, of the money changers. He's angry. It's a spiritual His passion of faith has made him so angry. In chapter 4, he Jesus tells us here that God would have walked past it all, right? The worship of God is in spirit, not remember, a specific location, see, not the building. What was Jesus really angry about? And that is all a really big message of time that go John and John is giving to us. Talking about and what for you us do to consider in all we do. And he ever did about prayer. But what is kept he spoke about all just stories, all for God's the use of your money. Oh, that practice just as of the selling animals did in his words where he came to fulfill the law and the prophets. And the setting up so many scholars believe that the money changing that was taking place in the temple grounds, these are considered a power. Calling practices, and then in God's house, turning God's house to a place you heard of this in some of Leviticus. But first, it amounts to conducting the of the past, earthly business, and then the abuse and the of the sacred and divine the money, space. the temple money, from and whatever Jesus currency they use. And for Jesus, it's the use. of the temple. So maybe, 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 maybe what Jesus is really it's angry about is the abuse, of faith, the injustices. Well, well I remember that the trading of currency house, and business was taking place in what's called the court of the Gentiles of the temple. It should be a place of worship, or the temple grounds. So we might ask ourselves, how do our Gentiles to come to the temple to pray? To learn. And, and you might say, well, why they want to do that? our worship. Well, the messianic mes mes expectation, concentration on what would happen about. when the Messiah came or how the messianic age things, come, how are things in our time would be that all as nations would as they flow did in to Jesus the temple time to worship the one God. What tables so would Jesus come and go and have? If all this is happening in the court of the Gentiles, like a marketplace, it's stopping and blocking Over the years, I have listened to church folk contemplate the So Jesus saw that in God's house, the place that should be pure worship, the use of the well, building, there was further in his profanity, so profanity as in earthly business and taking place. And he says they've made the temple for a market rabbles, place instead. Events, the local girl guides the other gospels say, You've turned Should God's house into a den of about robbers, the use of our building, or thieves, or our meaning that's the place or where the thieves house. hang out when they've they're done or doing their thieving, is they're robbing and stealing and corruption and abuse, they want to be our place. That, that makes sense. Pretty heavy accusation, are we right? There? Are we just? Are so what we Jesus loving? says in a are we all in God's hospitality and welcome and drives out the cattle and the sheep and the doves? 
We might question, does or it are we people discriminate against some and offer preferential and treatment this to some or not? Of the tables of the money changers. Are there injustices that we maybe can't see right now because made them so angry that they can anger Jesus and say, enough. If he had someone of passionate faith, he would have walked no past more. it all, right? And done nothing. over those tables. When those are worship and I would work. What was Jesus really the angry gospel about? As the writer of John's gospel, more time to go to the gospel. Is Jesus more time is talking about what you do with your money. Aspects of our worship and he did some from coming in. He spoke about the justice and feeling and welcome, welcome and preventing the poor. Just as the prophets did in his words where he came to fulfill the law and prayer and welcoming. So many scholars believe that the money changes these are the questions we need to ask ourselves as we read through our annual reports each year at this time. And the need for but also the truth sacrifice that you had to give is indicated in Leviticus. Leviticus. All the plans of everything we are and everything we do, and not just for the year to come, the year to come takes the money, care of itself, the money from whatever currency they use to come. What will we do so five years from now? Maybe what Jesus is really angry about is the abuse, the injustices. And are we being all that is taking place in God's house? We should be a place of love and justice. Are we being faithful to our vision as a dream that is woven with God's vision? So we might ask ourselves, how do our secular concerns do better today? Because we're not perfect. In words of the scriptures, or like John's message through Jesus is that worship has taken us away from the concentration of worship is all about. Comes through how the spiritual do our experience, things, how the things in our time affect us? The disciples, the questioners around Jesus coming, see their what they up in the temple. Jesus come in and go enough. And according to Jesus, what they were doing there done. was defiling it with corrupt Over money changers. I have listened to the animals constantly to more into a marketplace. And they said in John's gospel, or maybe today we say, come way too close to where there's property tax exemption. So all of the above. Turn it into a business instead. With respect to the society. Is a challenge, and what the modern church rappels, has been accused of becoming the local more girl guides the wood apple. more of a business. Should we be worried with all of the about the use and of our buildings and politics or our profanities or the secular things that an organization is today more might about be? How we are doing instead of we are doing church instead of saying welcoming and inclusive are and fair, fair and just are we and just really are we loving? in the kingdom of God are we offering God's hospitality the worship and of God in all that we do everything it's lived out in the physical or are there ways that the we love discriminate of God against some seeking or justice, preferential justice, treatment to some who not your God it's are there injustices that we maybe can't even see right now that in our practices that in any way Jesus would say and adapt them to human forms no more but Jesus, through this gospel tapes. writer John, is saying, "Is our worship a and place our where work God is? pure and true it's to the gospel?" As the writer of John's gospel is, spiritual. is prescribing and as it Jesus' be a mission, or are there aspects of our worship that prevent some love coming in? in. Remember, he, he says, says that many times, times the love is here, the kingdom is here, or the other gospel writer tells us, sometimes there and welcoming, sometimes we were just cleansing. From time These to are the time, questions we need to, to ask of things of ourselves. And have as we read through our annual we need reports to look at our hearts, we need time. to look at the temple but also of our throughout hearts. The year and we sometimes need to ask ourselves, ourselves these things with that all the plans of everything in our hearts, we are, is every spirit we do, of the and not just for the year to come. God, the year to come takes take care of itself. It's the sacrifice of ourselves, not animals. Thank goodness. What would it be five years from now? Following the one we call the Christ or the Messiah, or and are we going to one of God to Christ's mission and to the Holy Spirit coming of our kingdom? Are we to our vision the way to as a dream that is woven with God's and vision and the faith? faith. And it means and not turning away when we see injustices. Because we're not perfect. So we are soon going John's to leave here to Jesus respond to God with our annual meeting of God and of this church and family living our faith. and with our kids. Comes through the spiritual We're going to review where we've been, of God in us. what we've done, where we the are. Disciples, the questioners around going. Jesus could only see their things wrapped up in the temple. And not just and according to Jesus, Jesus what they were heaven. doing there. Was defiling well, it, corrupt do money so changes, discerning, sacrificing the things animals, turning it to celebrate the fairness, the justice, the love, and what we do, gospel, or and maybe where today we can finally do what we can do is in our property tax exemption. Let's do so within our hearts turn it into a and need to give thanks instead. to those who and lead that is to a challenge and what the modern church has been accused of becoming is more of a marketplace, more of a business, our sanctuary, creation, and is our temple laws and justice and politics the law. Profanities are being at secular, least the place where the temple of our heart today might be. One. 
instead of this place always be a place instead of being welcoming and inclusive and fair and just just and good being the loving kingdom of god be that we were the worship of god just and good within the christ of our faith it's lived out in the physical this day it is the love of god of all days in seeking justice loving kindness walking humbly with your god it's of the heart experience but the mind attempts to rationalize and explain and spin and adapt into human forms. So, but Jesus is really gospel heard. writer John is saying, the place where God is, think about a worship service, it's it's him. welcome and we come together. It is here God's word. We respond to God's word. And then we're commissioned to change the world. But love is God's word. Now we're going to respond. He says that many times. We respond to God in many ways. We respond to God in the gospel and the spirit when we choose baptism. Sometimes or confirmation. Sometimes we require a commitment to be a part of a church family. We need to clean out we things and have another look. To God with our we need to look at our hearts. We need to look at the temple. It's a sign of breaking our bread and for sometimes others. Our and pouring out our love in Christ. That for spiritual others. experience in our hearts is the to God by offering our of prayers in the presence of God. And God calls us to share it together. Prayers of are heard and answered, not animals. Thank goodness. Eh? We respond to God. We can follow the one who called Christ to the Messiah, trusting that every small thing we do is brought together with the work of others to be transformed lives. But that that is the way to live a passion. We respond faith, to God with our uh, love as well. Faith. And, and we respond when we share with way each other where we've been, just where we are, and where we're going through an annual so congregation. We're soon going to leave here to respond to Today God with our response to God for our offering of this church place family. Here. And with our and then kids, we go for our annual we're going to review where we've been, prayer, what and we've done, done, where we are, and our where we're going. But right dreams. now, let us hear our invitation to offer, and not just for this year, but where are we headed? Well, let's go do so discerning the things we really need to celebrate, the fairness, the justice, the love, and what we do, and where we can identify maybe what we can do more. Let's do so within our hearts. From I need past, to give thanks to those who now lead, in the present, to all who share, with hopes and dreams give, for the future, to everyone let us here pray at St. Andrews for this, our, offers, our sanctuary, that they might be and tangible, temple, and generous, place and invisible the symbols temple of, of our being, being at least together. the place where the temples of our hearts let let join as one. And may this place always be a place of Passionate faith, God of the journey, just and God of arrival, and may we God of light that we and love and, and abundance just and, and grace within the God Christ we of offer our faith. All the gifts Today, that we have given, and all the gifts we plan to give, we've committed to give. Those who will come today, those that are present here in the plates at the back, those who've already been offered through par and in many other ways. God, we offer so, all with this the is where we of our time, our to hands, me. and our faith. And together, we may we be lessons of we love and of love to we those who need. Word. We respond and to God's word. giving them, and then we're commissioned out to change with the world. Life and love. We've heard God's and grace. Now we're going to respond. Amen. We respond to God in many ways. We're going we respond to, to God three verses when Christ and the Spirit when we choose to sense is right. Confirmation. As and we will walk to together be part of the at the end family. of the third verse, and we will go we'll to the upper and hill, and, God and our communion. Um, there when we have Holy Communion, it's a so sign we'll of breaking our together. bread for others and pouring out our love in Christ for others. We respond to God by offering our prayers to God and each other. We share that together prayers are heard and answered. We respond to God reaching out and working in our communities, too, and beyond us. Trusting that every small bit we do is brought together with the work of others and we transform lives we can do that. We respond to God with our offerings as well. And we respond when we share with each other where we've been, where we are, and where we're going through an annual congregational meeting. Today our response to God with our offering will take place here. And then we will go for our new meeting and our prayer and our closing hands. And our commission. Right now, let us hear our invitation to offer the clinic of goodness. From the past, now in the present, and with hopes and dreams for the future. Let us prayerfully consider our offerings. 
that they might be tangible, generous, and visible symbols of our faith together. Let us pray. God of the journey, God of arrival, God of life and love and abundance and grace, holy God, we offer all the gifts that we have given you. All the gifts we plan to give, we committed to give. Those who have come today, those that are present here in the plates at the back, those who have already been offered through power and in many other ways. God, we offer all of the gifts of our time, our hands, and our faith. Together may they be blessings of life and of love to those in need, and may we in giving them be blessed in turn with life and love in Christ's name. Amen. We are going to sing three verses of Walk With Me. Makes sense, right? Walk well, with I want me. you all to and we will walk together at the end of the third verse, the fourth and verse we will there. go to the upper hall. And um, there we will begin our meeting. So let us sing together. I welcome you all to go grab your coffee, have a seat, and we'll sing the fourth verse there. <laughs> <laughs> 